Hello everyone welcome back to Ketu blogging and today we are going to see the new advanced table block that comes with the cadence blocks plugin so if you are using cadence blocks plugin then you need to update the plugin to the version 3.4.0 and you will see a new advanced table block so let's check what are the features that you will get in this block so i have added few of the table here as you can see i can create a pros and cons table and i can add table like this where i can easily customize different parts of the table like i can customize the heading i can customize the individual columns or i can customize the individual rows and as you can see that i have added icons in the table or you can add a different type of logos images or you can add any type of element within the table block here and as you can see we have a pros and cons table so it is looking quite good and here we have a table like this so we have added name position and the social media icons so you can integrate the table in different parts of your website so you can either add it to your about us page or services page or you can add a pros and cons table to your post page so let's check how you can add this type of table and what are the customization options available in the table block so for this you need to click on the edit post here and let's create the table from this scratch and by the way if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and let's get started all right let's check how we can add a table here so let me scroll down and here let me click on plus and i can search for a table and here you will see two different block one is the default table block where you will get a limited options but if you click on the table advanced that comes with the cadence block you will see a screen like this where you can see the number of columns and rows so let me click on create table and as you can see that our table is added so here you can add more number of rows here or you can increase the column as well so let me reduce it and let me add a border first so that it will looks like a table so let me add two pixel border here and let me select a border color like this so as you can see that our table is looking like this and let me click on general tab and let me reduce the column like this or i can reduce the rows like this now you can add a heading so let me enable that and here you can add your headings like let me add like pros and cons or i can add my pros ones here now you can further customize every part of your table so you need to click on the table advanced here and let's click on column width so by default it is setting to auto width so it will automatically adjust the width so if you add more content in the left side then it will take more width in the left side or you can click on here and you can set a custom width like you can set 30% to the left and it will automatically take 60% to the right so let me use auto width for now now you can enable sticky settings as well but that is in pro version and here you can set a maximum height of your table and once the maximum height reaches and it will add a vertical scroll bar here or you can set a maximum width as well and you have the option to overflow x scroll so that when you open it on a mobile device it will scroll down horizontally so you have that option here now let's click on the style option and here you can see you can add border here or you can only apply to rows or you can apply to rows and column here now let's click on the cell padding and you can see you can adjust the padding here so you can add a top padding like small and let's add a bottom padding like this or you can add it like extra small and let me do that and let me add like this now let's click on cell typography so you can set the font size here and here you can set line height upper casing lower casing like that and you can set the your font family so let me set it to heading family here and you can set the styling and font weight as well 
now you can set the header typography as well so it will only apply to the heading here so you can see you can adjust the heading size here and here you can set the heading font family and you can set it to bold or you can set it to italics now let's click on the row background and you can enable even and odd background so let me select the background like this so you can see the even section will show a background like this and you can set a background for odd section like this or you can disable that and you can enable column background as well so let me select the first column background something like this and let me reduce it and let me set the column to background here something like this so in this way you can add a pros and cons and in assign the color in individual column or individual row and you can set the row height as well now let's click on the advanced block and you can add a padding at the top bottom or you can assign margin here so let me do that so it will assign the margin to the whole table so let me reset it for now now you can select individual elements and you can change the text color of the individual element or you can click on the table data and you can adjust the padding of a individual table cell or you can assign the table row here and you can set a different background for this table row like this let me select this one let me select the table row and let me assign a different background color like this so in this way you can individually select any of the table row you can assign the color here something like this all right now if you want to add more rows then all you have to do is click on the table row and you will see a plus icon and you can see add row below or add row at bottom and it will add a more rows here and if you want to add a pre-made table then you can also do that so all you have to do is click on the design library and you can search for table block here and here you will see different type of table block like you can see pros and cons table just click on here and it will automatically add a pros and cons table to your website and you can select any one and change the styling and click on row layout and you can adjust the maximum width as well so let me set the maximum width to 900 and as you can see our pros and cons table is added similarly you will get more designs here just search for a table and you can see the same name and social icons here and here you can see a table with download button or buy button and you can see pricing table and you can see there are different type of table added here some of them are free and some of them are pro version so you can test it and play around it or you can use the free version to design your own table and design your own style according to your creativity so as you can see that i have added table like this where i have added a icon here so you can click on delete and here you can click on plus icon and you can search for any element here so you can add icons you can add buttons or you can add countdown timer so you have all the flexibility so you can add any element here so let me click on icon here and here you can see you can adjust the icon size and here you can select the icon here so here i am using windows so i can search for windows i can add a windows icon like this and i can also even insert images to our table so you can do that just let me click on plus and here let me search for a image let me click on that let me click on the media library and let me click a image here and i can adjust the width so let me set it like 40 pixel or let's say 60 pixel like this and you can see that the image is inserted to our table so you have all the flexibility options so here as you can see i have added a star rating so let me select the icon block here and let me add it from the scratch so for this i will click on the plus icon 
and I can search for icon. Let me click on here and let me set the icon size to something like 30 pixel and then I will click on icon and let's click on plus icon like this or let me remove it for now and let me change it to a star icon like this and let me click on duplicate and it will add more star like this and let me do it one more time and I can change a half star here like this and this is how you can add star rating to your table as well and here you can select any of the row just click on the table row and select the row background like this and you can add the, the data in your table so this is how you can use the table block in cadence so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one thank you bye bye